Good morning. Speak up, eh? Right, here we are in jolly old Stafford. Just outside the railway station. Ha ha ha, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. The theme for today is the Lord's Prayer. And all the ones I've done all around Europe mostly, but I've done them all around the world. Every day. I possibly can. With the candle lit and the body and blood of Christ, bread and water, and wine, of course. Water for the wound in the side. Boy, do I know this. Everyone knows this. This is your prayer, my Lord. The people present, but anyway, I can't help it. Our Father. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. You trapped off from Stafford, then? Whereabouts? Uh, oh, I see. I haven't spent some tickets today. Ooh, they all have lovely little cabbies. One of those lovely little cabbies said to me, he said, Oi, if you ain't got any money, yeah, show me your money before you get in the cab. But I wouldn't have asked him for a cab ride if I didn't have money, would I? Ooh, people are naughty. Stay outside for the volume, but I can't get inside. Oh, where are all the Christians? Where are they? The reason I'm here is because finally I managed to get the police to begin to pull their little fingers out. I am persona non grata on the streets here because the scrout, the feral youth of Stafford Town and Rising Brook think it's open season on me because the police didn't tackle them in the first place. And I stand out like a sore thumb, don't I, just the way I am. It is not right. This is England, so I shall fight my little fight. I'll rattle their little cage. I've got them by the short and turlies, the jolly old police, and the Crown Prosecution Service, and the legal people, and the whole bang shoot. I've got no money, but I'm still me. My father fought on the Somme in the First World War. I'm 53 years old. I am not going to roll over and play dead, am I? I doubt it. Still got two and a half minutes to go. <laughs> Fire, fire, fire. Beaten up by the English legal system. You have my son, for heaven's sake. You little England with a small E. I'm going to rattle your little cage. They don't want all this stuff coming up, but it's in my soul. My son will be 17 on November the 12th. He was born in the morning on Thursday, the 12th of November, 1992, and then the little English legal system rolled over and played dead to a woman. Ho, 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 so I left my country. After, however, fighting five years in the courts, twice to the High Court and eventually to the European Commission of Human Rights, with no justice from England, as usual. <laughs> oh, but eventually they're so sorry, and hopefully you'll all be dead by then, but I'm not. I'm here to tell the jolly old tale. Here I am, strong as an ox. Highly intelligent ox, actually. It's a hard with the royal chap. I love you, my lord. I shall enjoy this with all my heart and all my soul and all my mind and all my strength. Just look at the lovely park, eh? It's lovely little Victorian park. It's brilliant. Look at that. Autumn leaves. Nice, isn't it? 